Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my recipe for fried chicken. It's a really, really special treat recipe. Um, I absolutely love this. It makes the absolute crispiest chicken you've ever had. It's so, so good. Normally, if I'm doing this, I would, for myself, I would use boneless, skinless chicken thighs because this makes the juiciest chicken sandwiches ever and it's exactly what I want but I think I'm losing this war against the chicken bre the boneless skinless chicken breast everyone seems to love it so I'm going to do it with that just so you can all see how it comes out so I've got five chicken breasts here I've just lined a chopping board with cling film and I'm just going to roll out some more just to go over the top leaving it very loose as well I give the chicken a good bashing and I do this so that I get the maximum amount of exterior crunchiness to succulent chicken inside. I find if I don't bash them, especially if they're large breasts, that it's almost, I get too much meat to crispy exterior. So, fun part now. see there I just want it so that it's not too I don't want it to be too thin but I just want it to be a little flatter and spread a little bit further makes it quicker during the cooking process too you can set them aside a moment and on with the marinade first up buttermilk and I want 400 mils of buttermilk going to add two minced cloves of garlic to this. And then I want a teaspoon of cracked black pepper. Give it a quick mix together. And then in go my beaten chicken breasts. And you just want to leave these to marinate for about two to four hours if you're in a hurry, hour minimum. For the chicken's crunchy coating, I want 250 grams of plain flour, two teaspoons of paprika. This helps give it a gorgeous color as well. And I used garlic in the marinade, and now I want to use garlic powder or garlic granules in the flour mixture and I want two teaspoons of that as well and exactly the same of dry oregano again just to echo the flavors in the marinade some black pepper teaspoon worth it here and two teaspoons of sea salt flakes let's give that a stir together Smells good already. <laughs> and that's that part ready. So next I want to get my chicken going. So I'm just going to transfer my chicken onto the wire rack. And this is how I get the crispiest chicken ever as I add just a little of the marinade into the flour. I really only just want a couple of tablespoons worth in there and I stir that in. Normally in cooking we do anything to get lumps out 
but I want the lumps here. That's what gives me those crunchy, crispy bits on my chicken. So can you see there that it's already started to clump in parts? It's exactly what I want. And it will further as I do the chicken. Just bury it, scrunch it up. And make sure every bit of that chicken is coated. And shake off any excess. And lay it back on. You can see where it's going to be crispy. <laughs> and then I'm just going to repeat this with all my chicken. And that's all my chicken done, so I'm just going to have a quick hand wash, clear up and get my oil heating in. My oil's come up to temperature, I want it at about 180 degrees. You can test it with a bread cube, you want it to sizzle as soon as you put it in. And you're going to need to do this in batches as well. I don't want to crowd the pan for the temperature to drop and for my chicken just to end up greasy. I give the chicken six to eight minutes until it's cooked through and bold and brown on the outside. I can feel how crispy it's going to be. And when they've had their time, just transfer them to a plate lined with some kitchen paper. And my last crispy piece of chicken. Just set these aside for a few moments just to rest while I get on with all the rest of the very important ingredients. Split and toast a soft flour bun. As with any sandwich, it's all about the build. We'll start off with some pickles and my crunchy, crispy chicken. I've made some slaw to go with. One is a hot sauce slaw and the other is a buttermilk slaw and it is perfect with these. I don't make the chicken too spicy because not everyone likes it hot, so I like to have my heat this way along with some very good crunch. Pile that high on top. Little slices of avocado. And my lid. As remember, for any of these recipes, just check the description box below where you'll find links to full and printable versions of all my recipes on my website. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. And thanks for watching. Perfect.